Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Harman Kardon Citation 500, um, which is clearly a home speaker, probably rival most to the Sonos 5. Um, but yeah, uh, this is one that I can't lie, I really like. Um, it's nice these crop up every now and then. Um, but yeah, so I'll take you through this. Um, obviously, a home speaker, quite a nice type of fluffy design going on, a little Harman Kardon badge at the top. And the standard cable at the back, nothing much else to be honest. But yeah, nice metal on top with a kind of mirror metallic -y bit around the edge. So looking quite nice. Obviously, the main gadget here being this screen. Um, normally shows the album art there. Not sure why it's not at the moment. I guess it's Diamondizer doesn't have it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, importantly as well, being a home speaker, Google Assistant. You've got Apple AirPlay as well. Um, and... Bluetooth, obviously you know me, like Bluetooth in a home speaker. This screen looks really good in person by the way, it's not coming out very well on the camera, because um, cameras don't really like screens, uh, but for a second there, that's how it's supposed to look. Uh, it's got settings, of oh, yep, so volume as well, obviously it's all nice touch screen, very responsive, um, really nice. I thought it would be a complete gimmick when I first got it, but I quite like it. I don't know why more why, why more companies don't do it, to be honest. You can have voice presets, system info, you can do system updates, uh, stuff like that. You There's like a bass slider, so you can change the bass and the brightness of the screen. And then it will show you you can play and pause and skip tracks and everything from the screen. And it's honestly really good. I, I thought it would be a proper gimmick, but I quite like it. I don't know why more people don't do it, to be honest. Um, it's a nice addition. And then obviously you've got your volume buttons on here, where for your slider... And again, like the JBL, you've got your lights to indicate what battery percentage you're on. Um, but obviously, if you change it on the phone, you get uh, you get a slightly different display on the screen anyway. But it will it will display it. Um, and yeah, uh, this yeah, so it retails for four hundred. Um, I managed to pick this one up for, and I think it's worth every penny to be honest. Uh, but first off, to prove that, I'm going to do a sound test. Everything by Diamond Eyes, eighty percent volume. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. Okay, um, I hope that came through uh, as well as it does in person. Uh, the bass on this, this is in standard bass mode, by the way, because they all, all my speakers I review are in just like the standard factory mode. So the bass can even be pumped up on this. And I think for a home speaker of this size with no like proper sub and a sub port and stuff like that, that bass is very strong and you are getting, you're getting a lot of thump there. It's, the thing I have with the Sonos 5 is that it did feel a little bit lacking in the base area. I know Sonos do do brilliant subwoofers, but it's not what you want. You don't want to have to buy something else and connect it up. This is, I feel that the base is stronger through here and the sound is just more complete, to be honest. It's really loud. Like I don't know if that comes across, but it's really loud. It's definitely louder than the Sonos. Um, but it's just a nicer design as well. The screen on top makes people, well, it gives it something unique. It makes people ask questions. And the whole design is just a bit less plasticky. Like this, you've got metal, well, whatever it is on the top, feels like metal on the top, and like a fluffy textured bit around the side, whereas the Sonos speaker is pretty much all plastic. So, yeah, there's just it's just a different experience with this, and I I really like it. Um, I think it's actually something quite special, because there aren't, it's, yeah, it's just a bit unique, definitely with the screen going on as well, but just the design overall, 
especially for that price point for 400 which is cheaper than the Sonos 5 if I remember correctly I think it's I think it's 500 so you're actually it's 100 pound less and I think better in almost in, in literally every way to be honest especially seeing as you don't have to use the Sonos app because that's trash but yeah so home speaker with Air, Apple AirPlay 2 Bluetooth screen nice design bass sound like honestly it's, it's the complete package and it's quite rare where I have something that I like this much so um, so I'm glad to be able to share it with you and uh, and, and and really highly recommend it. Um, if you've got £400 to spend on a speaker that obviously you don't want to take outside, this is purely for home, but if you've got 400 quid to, to spend on a home speaker, literally look no further. Um, the Google Assistant's really good as well. I've, I've tested on some, I've used it like for myself <laughs> uh, for the last month or so almost. And I've, uh, yeah, I've, I've just, I've been able to say, um, I've been able to say the wait word while music's playing from the other side of the room. Even if you've kind of like not said it very clearly, it's very good at picking it up. Um, and then also very quick at changing the song or lowering or opening the volume or whatever you've asked it to do. So it's it's great as as an AI as well, if you see what I mean. You can also connect it up to your lights and all these type of things. So it's actually honestly really good. Um, yeah, hopefully you can, uh, hopefully you agree and can see that through this video. Um, if you've got any questions or anything like that, pop it down in the comments and I will be glad to answer.